So, you finally decided to make that purchase of that new appliance and now you want to bring it home. So, what we're going to do is show you how to properly load it and how to properly strap it down so when you get it there, it's in the same conditions when you bought it. Because if you do it incorrectly, you're going to damage the unit and then no one's going to be happy because it's just never a good thing. So, I have the two helpers here. They're going to load it into the truck. Now, you do not want to do this by yourself. You want to make sure you have someone with you. This is real easy when you have a washer, dryer, something along those lines. Now, on any appliance, you pretty much want to make sure the back of the appliance is facing whatever it's going to go up against, okay? That will ensure, because that's the least amount of damageable parts are on the back. The sides, the top, the front, those are all going to be visible on most appliances. The back's never visible, so if there is a little issue, the back's not the bad place to have it, but you want to be careful, okay? So what we want to do is you want to slide it in, okay? And then you want to take the blankets, you want to bring the back over the back and over. Make sure you're all the way down to the bottom. Get it on there nice and reasonable, okay? Now you want to take the other one. Like I said, if you don't have two, that's not so bad, but you kind of want to have two. But if you do only have one, you want to make sure the part that comes in contact with the bed of the truck is the part that's going to get fully covered, okay? Then slide it all the way back flush to where it touches the back of your truck. Now, you want it centered. You don't want it left, you don't want it right. Yes, it's gonna block your rear view mirror. Sorry about that, that's the way it's gotta be. Because if you go to one side or the other, the truck motion can actually move the vehicle. Okay, like I said, I can rock the truck. Now, the proper way of doing it is you want minimum two straps, okay? I'm gonna strap one on the bottom, okay? Get your attach point. You want to bring it about, I want to say a third of the way up the unit. To do it properly, I'm going to take one more across the top, okay? If you, because the problem is most vehicles don't have a high enough attachment point for me to go up, over, and then back down, okay, on the front. This one's going to move, this one's going to slip. So what I want to do is take my strap, and this is for washers, dryers, ranges, dishwashers, things along those lines. So now I'm going to put both of my points of tie down on the same side, okay? So I'm gonna hook it on, I'm gonna run it over the top. Now, I don't want to be up against the control panel if I can absolutely possibly avoid it. Because remember, if you over tighten, you're going to start bending the unit. We don't wanna do that, okay? So now that I got both of these on, okay, I'm going to start tightening these things. Take it snug. As you see, I'm pulling all the slack out of the of the blanket. Okay. What you're looking for is something about like that. Okay. I can get my fingers in there, so there's still a little bit of room for the machine to not get squished. If I can't get my fingers in through here, you are way too tight, and there's a good chance you're going to squish your machine and bend your machine. So you want this tight but you don't want it at the point that you can't get your fingers in there. Drive carefully, take your time. You just spent a lot of money on a real nice appliance. We want to make sure you get it home, so don't be in a rush, okay? And now that's strapped. Just like I said, make sure all your straps are out of the way. Like I said, give it one more good push. That's not going anywhere. As I push this, the whole truck moves. Therefore, it is good, solid, and tight. It's not going anywhere, okay? At that point, now you can load up and you go home. So if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask your salesperson. They'll be more than glad to give you more helpful tips on how to load these things. Have a wonderful day.